Welcome back to Adamus Tutorials. This week I'm going to show you how to take in a shoulder seam of, well, in this case a dress, but it could be also a um, sleeved shirt or, or whatever. Um, the dress makes it extra complicated because it has a lining in it. Um, I got this dress in the sale and it does fit well, um, except that it is a little bit wide around um, the arm. I also like to take it up a bit because it is really quite low at the front and uh, I wouldn't really feel very comfortable in it. <clears throat> First of all we're gonna put it on and determine how much we actually want to uh, reduce the top by. This is what the dress looks like on. As you can see it's really quite low as it is and uh, I have quite a bit of room here underneath the arm so what I'm gonna do is shorten this a little bit and I'm just gonna take a pin and mark how much I want to take it in by I think that's about right there I'm just gonna put a pin in there and on the other side as well lower your arms and check a bit better. So now you can take it off and we'll crack on with this. Right, now I've taken the dress off again. Uh, turn the dress inside out and maybe at this stage it's easier to just measure how much you have pinned it up by because we may have to redo the pins at some stage so I'm just gonna check how much it is and remember that. Yep, six centimeters. All right, that means that we can take out the pin and have a look at the inside seam. Now what the first thing we need to do is actually loosen the um, the lining from the actual dress. First step is to take out your pin and check where your, um, where your seam is. And we're just going to uh, loosen up the seam quite a bit and maybe a bit further than you would uh, need to take um, fabric off. But just take a seam ripper and gently ease the, ease the lining away from the main fabric. Since I'm shortening, it, shortening the lining as well as the uh, outer fabric, I'm just going to cut through here. It makes my life a little bit easier. You can also just unpick it, but cutting is a lot faster. And make it a bit easier to work with. You will need to give yourself enough room um, to be able to stitch the lining on the while it's um, sort of turned around. So I'm going to unpick it a bit further than what needs to be cut off. Now I'm going to unpick this uh, shoulder seam of the outer fabric. Maybe there. That's loose now. Now we have two sides of it. Now what, we, what you want to do is measure out um, the amount that you want uh, taken off. Now, since the back uh, curves immediately here, I'm going to take a little bit less off of the back than the front because otherwise it will be harder to meet these edges up as they w uh, widen quite quickly. So I'm going to take 4cm of the front um, bit of the strap and 2cm of the back giving me the 6cm I want. Now, make sure that you uh, lay the uh, good fabric the good side of the fabric to the good side of the fabric and then measure out four centimeters to two centimeters on the other side as you can see they don't really meet up so what we're gonna have to do is um, fold this back a little bit as well so they will meet up when we, uh, once we um, sew it. So with the 
good side to the good side. Um, pin this. Now we have this. I've cut off this to about a centimeter, and now I'm gonna run this under the sewing machine to stitch the shoulder seam. If you do not have a lining, you may want to um, zigzag the edge here so it doesn't unravel. I don't need to do that because um, the lining will cover it and there's no need. Now we've attached the shoulder seam and it will be easiest if you um, take a, an iron and just flatten it out like that. Put the iron, just run it over like so, flatten it, making your life a little bit easier. And now comes the tricky part, because you will have to do this while this is already attached. You will have to put the good side of the lining to the good side of the other side of the lining. And you have to figure out whereabouts you need to pin it in order for it to lay flat. So, check against the other fabric whereabouts you need to pin it. And mine is about there. But then I need to pin the good side to the good side, so I have to turn it over like so and attach this here. And now I also have these these straps that make it a bit more complicated as well, because I have to uh, sort of wheel them in. Before sewing it, you may want to check if it lays more or less flat once you open the seam up. Once you're happy with how your pinning looks, you can also run this under the sewing machine. Now we stitch it, we can trim this a little bit as well. To about one centimeter. Get the cut off here. Right there. And then we can fold it back normal and then we should have a nice smooth seam. Now we'll need to pin the lining onto the outer fabric. Now, if you don't mind uh, your uh, sewing showing on the other side, you can just um, take your sewing machine and just run a neat little stitch line along the edge here. But since this dress is um, invisibly stitched on the outside, I'm gonna do this by hand and neatly sew only catching the um, the turnover on the inside here. I'm making sure by putting my finger behind that I don't poke all the way through and just catch that turnover there. I'm doing a simple back, back stitch. Now rinse and repeat and do the other side. Um, just to show you up close, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I stitched it by hand and this is what the inside looks like. And the outside, you should not actually see that you've altered it at all. And just for fun I'll just put on the dress and show you what it looks like on me now it's uh, altered. And this is what the dress looks like and now it fits a lot better around uh, the underarm here and it doesn't come down as low so I'm more comfortable in that uh, if I have to bend forward or whatever. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to alter the length of a shoulder strap and that it is useful to you at some point. I thank you very much for watching. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and um, check out my other social media and we'll see you next week. Bye everyone!